Good morning, everyone. We'll begin now. Um, welcome and thank you for joining us for the fifth Hawaii annual code challenge known as the Hack. My name is Mark Masuno, Cybersecurity Manager for the state's, State of Hawaii's Office of Enter Enterprise Technology Services. Our office has been coordinating the Hack for the past five years on behalf of the Office of the Governor. So before we begin, why don't, why don't we break the ice? ice. With the context. With the context. Uh, Mark your echo. I think I someone think has someone their mic on. Mark, Mark. Okay, so if you have your microphone on, please mute. Um, so back to the icebreaker. Um, in honor of the hack's fifth year anniversary, the fifth, 15th, and 25th person who enters in the chat box when we say go their favorite show they're binging on wins a prize. Okay, so in the chat box, if you can type in your favorite show that you're binging on, when we say go, you could win a $25 Amazon gift card. So ready, set, go. No judgments. I may take some notes on some show ideas and good luck. Oh, some good ones popping up there. Nice. Oh, Mandalorian. All right, I think we got about 25. So that was fun. Uh, we'll announce the winners later in the day. We'll have giveaways throughout the day. So please do stick around. There'll be more chances to win $25 gift cards to Starbucks and Jamba Juice. And if you're a registered participant, you may pick up a swag bag at one of the pickup points, which we'll announce later today. So as you can all see this year, the hack is leveraging technology by becoming a virtual event due to the uh, global pandemic. And if you followed us from the beginning of the year, we've held virtual workshops since April to help participants like you build your toolbox in preparation for this exciting competition. These workshops are now available online at hack.hawaii.gov. Uh, one moment. Sorry, technical difficulties. I lost my screen share. All right. So through this event, we aim to encourage folks like you to be engaged with government while seeking innovative and creative ways to improve the state's delivery of information and services. So here's a look at what's happening today. You can look forward to some special speakers who will join us this morning. You'll hear from the challenge sponsors, learn about the Hack Hui, which you'll need to know for team formation for the competition, meet some of our sponsors who help make this day possible, and of course, more prize giveaways. Because we're a virtual event, we'd like to take a moment for some friendly reminders. Webcam etiquette. Enable your webcam so your speakers will be able to see you and feel your energy. Be present. Ask questions in the chat box. Mute your microphone unless asking a question. And for this afternoon, you will need to use the Zoom client, not the Zoom browser, to be able to move freely among the various sponsor and stream rooms. Please make sure you're on the application version 5.3 or higher by this afternoon's session. A friendly reminder that this hack uh, event is being recorded and will be shared on the hack website. And now, without further ado, I would like to introduce Doug Murdoch, Chief Information Officer of the State of Hawaii, and also my boss. Doug? Aloha, everyone. Thank you for being here. I'd like to welcome a few special guests. First, Governor David Ige and First Lady Don Amano Ige, University of Hawaii Vice President and in Information Technology and Chief Information Officer Garrett Yoshimi. Even though the global pandemic even through the global pandemic, the Hawaii Annual Code Challenge has managed to continue its mission of bringing together all levels of experience from the tech community, from the experts to the tech at heart. The Hack is one of the premier tech events in the state and has been recognized nationally for its uniqueness. As you know, this event is held over multiple weeks, which gives teams the chance to sharpen their skills through workshops and time to develop the best innovative and creative solution possible 
to the challenges that are set forth by the various sectors of our government. As you consider in your teams to work on your solutions, I hope you will not only learn from each other, but also inspire one another. I look forward to seeing you all and seeing all your presentations and best of luck in the competition. And now it's my pleasure to introduce the person whose inspiration has brought us all together to this Hawaii Annual Code Challenge over the last five years, Governor David Ige. Aloha, and thanks, Doug, for that introduction. I'm really excited to be here finally, the kickoff event for the fifth annual Hawaii Annual Code Challenge is here. I'm always inspired by the energy, the excitement, the creativity that the hack brings out to all of the participants um, throughout this next few weeks. As mentioned earlier, this is the fifth year of, that, of the hack's existence. And we began um, planning for this event as soon as the fourth annual code challenge was completed. Um, we have expanded it uh, and in, instituted a number of new ideas this year. Uh, as mentioned, we've had the workshops uh, beginning in April uh, and we had an educators hack workshop tailored just for teachers. We wanted to make a special effort to engage students this year for the fifth annual uh, and really wanted to thank uh, teachers and those uh, involved with uh, that effort. The hack is certainly an event that I look forward to every year. And as you may know, I am an electrical engineer um, by training and feel right at home with all of you. The theme uh, of my administration has been sustainability in the broadest sense. You know, we're committed to food sustainability, technology sustainability, really embracing technology to be able to deliver better services uh, at less cost. Uh, it is about um, sustainability of uh, coders and, and um, uh, application developers, because I know that um, the more we can create opportunities here for our residents, the more thriving our economy will be. You know, it is uh, more evident today uh, through this global pandemic that we find ways uh, to be self-sufficient and creative in our solutions. Uh, regarding innovation, uh, CIO Doug Murdoch and his team at ETS uh, has been challenged to create solutions uh, to respond to the COVID pandemic. Um, Doug uh, and ETS was instrumental in our efforts to uh, start reviving and reopening our economy uh, to Trans-Pacific Travelers. Uh, they created a digital platform that all of the mayors insisted uh, was fundamentally important for us uh, as we began to welcome travelers back. Uh, and they developed the platform in record time. As we all know, uh, the pandemic changes uh, every single day and we need to respond to the different uh, needs. Uh, but there've been other examples of how, how technology has really responded to the challenge. Uh, I know many of you have read about our unemployment insurance challenge. Well, our UI system uh, is based on code that's more than 30 years old. And in fact, it was actually coded in COBOL, which is something I learned as an electrical engineering student uh, at the UH Manoa more than 40 years ago. So that kind of tells you about uh, some of the technical challenges that we face. But I think most importantly, a lot of the solutions that allowed us to deliver services better were technology solutions and putting um, a web-based front end and being able to respond in a way that we would not have been able to do uh, without uh, coders and developers uh, throughout the state. I've noticed um, that there will be uh, lots of different um, challenges presented to you all today. And I wanna encourage you to listen carefully, um, but the pandemic has really uh, impacted uh, even the first lady as she has um, been working with the Department of Human Services to put forward a challenge uh, that will be presented today. Um, it is possible that the proof of concepts that you work on over the next few weeks 
uh, will be adopted and implemented um, as we learn to live with this COVID um, pandemic virus. In closing, I just really wanted to thank uh, everyone whose support is so fundamentally important to putting on the Hawaii Annual Code Challenge. I did wanna thank uh, CIO Doug Murdoch and his team at ETS for always being creative uh, and energizing in organizing uh, this competition. I want to thank the private sector sponsors, uh, Transform Hawaii Government, uh, Hawaii USA Federal Credit Union, Microsoft, and all of our sponsors. Uh, we would not be able to do this event without their support. Uh, and the HAP Executive Committee, uh, community partners of volunteers, uh, including uh, PC, ATT, uh, HDDC, uh, and Representative Mark Nakashima from Hilo, who's been just a tremendous supporter of uh, technology and diversifying our economy. Uh, presenting partner is IMAG Foundation. Please um, support all of these organizations as they make this competition possible for all of you. I really look forward to seeing how you apply your skills and creativity uh, in the challenges uh, presented uh, to you and look forward to the, the conclusion on November 21st. Please, uh, I encourage all of you to explore the challenges presented, uh, embrace the one that you are most interested in but most importantly, uh, have fun, meet new people, and create innovative solutions to help state government be more efficient and effective and sustainable. Thank you all. Thank you, Governor. Um, Doug Murdoch, uh, if you would like to close out. Mahalo, Governor. I'd also like to take a moment to thank a few important companies who have helped make this possible today. Uh, NIC Hawaii, Hawaii Data Collaborative, Google Cloud Kerasoft, AT&T, Viridian and Revacom. Now I'd like to welcome Sheila Buyakakar, Executive Director of the IMAG Foundation, this year's fundraising chairman. Sheila is no stranger to the hack. She's been serving as part of the executive committee and volunteer for the past several years. Sheila, over to you. Hi, I am Sheila Buyakakar and thank you so very much. As IMAG stands for Innovative, Mindful, Accepting and Giving, it is an honor to be here today for the Hawaii Annual Code Challenge. It is an event that allows IMAG Foundation to really fulfill our vision in becoming a community resource and support system as we collectively create, strengthen, and sustain ethically diverse, successful, and peace-filled communities. It is our pleasure to be in the Hack 2020 fiscal sponsor as we help to strengthen opportunities one community at a time. Mahalo for allowing the IMAG Foundation the opportunity to be part of this phenomenal civic engagement and partnership through this purposeful and impactful work that you all have been doing. Mahalo, mahalo, mahalo. Thank you, Sheila. We appreciate the IMAG's Foundation's support and all that you've done for the hack as a volunteer. All right, switching gears now, it's time for the most anticipated part of today's kickoff the challenge presentations by a few of my colleagues in state government and our partners. So this year, there are six challenges you will have the opportunity to solve. Some of them are inspired by challenges posed by the pandemic. There is also an open challenge category. If you recognize or know of a challenge, are able to obtain data, such as from data.hawaii.gov, we welcome you to develop a solution as an open challenge. <clears throat> 